So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedbox here, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on to any of my videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So this Saturday night, we've got Kelbrook and Errol Spence for the IBF Worldweight title at Bramall Lane in Sheffield, I haven't done a video in the past couple of days because I've been having some technical issues, but I'm back up and running now and I've been keeping up with all the build up to this fight the open workouts the press conferences the way in yesterday and stuff like that and i'm just going to talk about this fight and give my prediction and breakdown of this fight so basically you've got kelbrook coming into this fight after losing to Gennady golovkin a lot of people thought kelbrook wasn't going to take this fight a lot of people were thinking kelbrook's going to vacate his ivf title and move up to 154 pounds so a lot of people were shouting Kelbrook's ducking Errol Spence before Kelbrook even did anything and people just thought Kelbrook was just not going to fight Errol Spence like they just could not see that fight happening but Kelbrook proved people wrong he said you know what I'm not vacating my belt for this guy who is there I'm just going to come in there and knock him out that's Kelbrook's mentality obviously easily said than done but then you got Errol Spence as well he's travelling to the UK he's the B side obviously in this fight he's coming over He's going to have 25,000 fans who are not going to be on his side, who are going to be booing him and jeering him in the fight. And obviously, every grazing shot that lands in the fight and stuff like that, even shots that don't really land, the fans are going to be cheering for Kelbrook and stuff like that. So, in my opinion, Evel Spence has to go out there and put it all on the line and he can't leave anything in the ring because... If this fight goes to the scorecards, then this could easily go to Kelbrook and stuff like that. Hometown advantage. But for the actual styles of this fight, you've got Kelbrook. A fighter who likes to fight at distance and stuff like that. A fighter who fights on the outside. Throws the 1-2 and stuff like that. Throws the hard shots. And Kelbrook is very accurate. That's one thing Kelbrook is very good at. When he throws from distance, he lands very well, Kelbrook, most of the time. Like, it seems to hit the target. And Evel Spence, talented fighter as he is, he does tend to get hit in fights, so he needs to be more cautious in this fight against Kelbrook. Hopefully him and his team have worked on that in the fight, all in the build-up to this fight and stuff like that. Because I think Kelbrook can hurt Evel Spence if Evel Spence allows himself to be open in this fight. So he needs to show Kelbrook a little bit of respect in this fight, because if he just comes in very open then he's going to get hurt and he could pay the price against Kelbrook and then we can flip the script here and you've got Errol Spence who's very good on the inside who likes to come on the inside and he's a very good fighter on the inside a very dangerous fighter on the inside I don't know a better inside fighter in the welterweight division better than Errol Spence people are going to say Sean Porter but Sean Porter's inside fighting game is just oh it's messy it's not nice to watch Whereas Errol Spence, it's clean, it's accurate, and it's very effective. And, yeah, Kelbrook can't allow Errol Spence to do that in the fight. So that's why I think he needs to hurt Errol Spence, because if he can try and keep Errol Spence at bay with his power and stuff like that, then Kelbrook could win this fight very easily. But if he allows Errol Spence to go on the inside, then Kelbrook's in trouble, and Errol Spence could easily win the fight then. So it's a total difference of styles. But it'll be interesting to see how these styles clash. Both men weighed in yesterday at 146 pounds. Both men were 146 and a few ounces over. So both men made welterweight. And it looked like both men had struggled to make welterweight. We all know Kelbrook struggles to make welterweight. He always has done for the past few years. Like in some fights he looks absolutely terrible. He looks like he's been on the crack pipe for 10 years when he comes in some weigh-ins in past fights but yesterday he looked pretty healthy well as healthy as he can be at 147 pounds because that is not a healthy weight for Kelbrook in my opinion I think Kelbrook should move up to like middleweight after this fight win lose or draw I think Kelbrook shouldn't fight at 147 pounds again because at some point it's going to affect his body and it might even affect tomorrow night like we just don't know that because Kelbrook in his last fight fought at 160 pounds he was very big, so for him to come back down to 147 pounds, who knows what he's done to his body and stuff like that. But at the open workout, Kelbrook looked very sharp and stuff like that. But obviously hitting the pads is totally different to being in an actual fight. But 
he didn't look drained on the pads or anything like that. But we'll just see on Saturday night if taking them extra few pounds has really affected him, especially if Errol Spence starts landing body shots and stuff like that. But Errol Spence as well is a very big welterweight. Like Errol Spence could easily be a light middleweight. He's very tall for a welterweight Errol Spence, but he's lean. But yesterday at the weigh-in, he looked like he just couldn't take any more weight off. Like that was it. He was spent. So both men look well, healthy enough for 147 pounds. But both men look like it was a bit of a task for both men to lose the weight for this fight. So it'd be interesting to see which fight or it affects because I think it could affect one of these fighters tomorrow night the weight. It's either going to be Errol Spence or Kelbrook, like, obviously. Kelbrook is the favourite to be affected by this because Kelbrook has struggled to make weight weight for a while. But we'll just see how this fight gets on tomorrow night. I'm slightly favouring, not Kelbrook, Errol Spence in this fight. I'm slightly favouring Errol Spence because I think he'll be able to get on the inside against Kelbrook. I think he's the fighter on the up and... We don't know how the weight is going to affect Kelbrook, and I think it might even affect him tomorrow night. Just because in his last fight, he moved up to middleweight. And I just see Errol Spence being the fighter who's getting better and better in each fight. And I can see Kelbrook getting a bit emotional in this fight and allowing Errol Spence to do things which could cost him. So I'm slightly going towards Errol Spence in this fight. If Kelbrook wins, I will not be surprised at all if Kelbrook wins. Because Kelbrook is a very good fighter who can beat Errol Spence Jr. But in my opinion, Errol Spence is a very good fighter. And I think Errol Spence is going to get the victory tomorrow night. I can just see it happening. So comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's Speedboxing. Oh, let me just add one more thing. I don't think Errol Spence will stop Kelbrook. Because I see Kelbrook being a very tough guy. But I see Errol Spence winning this fight on points. That's what I'm going for. Errol Spence to defeat Kelbrook to become the new IBF Worldweight Champion on points. So comment below in the comment section. It's JM. It's Sweet.